Good morning, friends. Look at this hairdo. Hooray. Anyway, I'm getting ready for work in a little bit, and I got some chores I want to do, so I don't want to stand over the stove and cook breakfast. I'm going to make for you sheet pan breakfast. So here I have a little sheet pan, and I'm saying sheet, sheet pan. I know sometimes I'm hard to understand. So I've just got a little bit of butter there. I'm going to rub on the pan. Did your mom ever teach you that? That's what my mom always did. Paper towel butter. Spread it out on the pan. Okay. This is fun. Your kids would love to do this. Your grandkids. Whatever you got in the house. I'm going to do more eggs. Listen, you're just going to crack them right on the sheet pan. Have you ever done this before? I got my toaster oven going at 400. You might be able to hear it in the background. It's kind of loud. It's not as loud as my microwave. My microwave sounds like a World War II plane taking off. I don't know why it's so loud. <sighs> Part of me just can't wait till it croaks. Four eggs right on the sheet pan. So I keep this in the house. It's um, fully cooked bacon. I love to throw it in the microwave on busy mornings. So I've got that. I've got four pieces chopped up. I'm gonna add it right on there. And with those eggs, it'll get crispy in the oven. God. This, I would use a fully cooked meat. I wouldn't like come in with raw sausage or something. If you have some leftover ham, some leftover sausage, some of this microwave bacon, that would work great. But I don't think the eggs would cook fast enough. We're gonna do or I don't think the meat would cook as fast as the eggs. So you don't want to, you don't want to poison your family. I want some detective showing up and saying, hey, I've got some leftover potatoes from the other night. So I'm going to add those right on the sheet pan. This is a great way to do breakfast and to Get rid of those leftovers at the same time. Put a little of these out to the side. Heat these up. There we go. I'll just sprinkle them all on there. What we don't eat, I'll share with the dogs. Okay, so there's those leftover onion or potatoes with onions that I had from the other night, and I salt and peppered my eggs. And last but not least, a little cheese. Use any kind of cheese you want. This is just what I had open going to sprinkle those on the egg. You don't want to make a mess with your pan. Doesn't that look good? Yes. Yes, indeed. Okay, so that's it. I'm going to throw it in the toaster oven. It's 400 degrees and I'll be back to let you know how long it took. And we're back. Breakfast is done. Toast just popped up. Here we go, about 20 minutes in the toaster oven. Can't get a hold of my pan here. <clears throat> Look at that. Now, the best, best way to test is kind of shake your pan. You know how you all like your eggs, so um, I like mine a little uh, over medium. Brock likes his sunny side up, so I got some sunny side in the back and I got some um, over mediums up front. So I'm just gonna take my spatula here. Wait a second. Hold on to it here. Go get under my egg. Got that egg and that bacon. See, look at that. This comes right off. Get a scoop of them taters. Out on there. And look, look how clean my pan has come up. So it's not going to take any time to clean that pan from that butter. Put them on there. There we go. I'll let you see. Um, 20 minutes in my toaster oven. Um, everybody's oven's different. Everybody lives in a different climate. To, uh, so, you know, just check it till your eggs are set the way you like them. This is how I like my eggs. I didn't want to run a yolk this morning. Look at that. Let's give it a taste. Perfect, perfect cooked egg. Don't have the time to stain over the stove. I did other chores while this was cooking. Easy, breezy, perfect for Saturday morning. Perfect for cooking for a crowd. 
If you want to do just eggs, you can do just eggs. And it's a perfect way to cook a lot of eggs for a crowd. While maybe you're doing sausage on the stove, and you're doing gravy or something like that. Pan's gonna come up nice and clean. There you go. Easy breezy, simple sheet pan breakfast. Hope you have a great day. Thanks for visiting me in my little country kitchen. Bye friends.